And we turn to the very sudden resignation from the man at the top of the CIA, retired Army General David Petraeus. Ray Suarez has that story. Hi, David. How is it? The stunning news came just 14 months after Petraeus was sworn in as CIA director, his wife Holly at his side. Today, Petraeus announced his resignation in a statement to the agency's employees, saying, After being married for over 37 years, I showed extremely poor judgment by engaging in an extramarital affair. Such behavior is unacceptable, both as a husband and as the leader of an organization such as ours. The retired four-star general said he went to the White House yesterday, met with President Obama, and asked to resign for personal reasons. The president made no mention of the matter at his own White House event today, and Press Secretary Jay Carney declined to comment. The president has uh, uh, believed that General Proteus is doing and has done an excellent job, but I don't have any personnel announcements to make from here today. Later, the president confirmed in a statement that he'd accepted the resignation. He said... David Petraeus has provided extraordinary service to the United States for decades. By any measure, he was one of the outstanding general officers of his generation. Petraeus served more than three decades in the Army, but his rise to prominence came in the post-9-11 wars. In early 2007, he was placed in charge of all coalition forces in Iraq. And in 2010, he took over as commander of U.S. forces in Afghanistan, overseeing the push to reverse Taliban gains. Along the way, he warned of tough going, as in this testimony at a hearing in March of 2011. The momentum achieved by the Taliban in Afghanistan since 2005 has been arrested in much of the country and reversed in a number of important areas. However, while the security progress achieved over the past year is significant, it is also fragile and reversible. Petraeus's resignation from the CIA today leaves his deputy, Michael Morell, as acting director. For more, we turn to Greg Miller. He covers intelligence for The Washington Post and retired Army Colonel Peter Mansour. He was executive officer for General Petraeus during the surge of forces in Iraq in 2007 and 2008. He's now a professor at Ohio State University. Greg Miller, attention, according to many news reports, is focusing on General Petraeus's biographer and the fact that the general came to the FBI's attention during an investigation. What can you tell us? Yeah, we're hearing that, too. I, I want to stress that this is very early in this story, so a lot of information is... Uh, it's, uh, it's hard to nail down at this point, but we're being told that, yes, this is not necessarily a case of the general, the former general, stepping up, doing the right thing and admitting to an affair, but being flushed out, being forced to admit it because of an FBI investigation into email access of the director's email. Email access uh, by the woman in question, uh, Paula Broadwell, the author of All In. Right. She Right, exactly, by this, uh, presumably by this uh, author who had written this biography, a uh, very glowing account of, of the general and, uh, and spent extensive time with the general uh, in war zones. So uh, these kinds of stories, um, in another place in the government, in another position in government, would an official be able to ride this out? Is the CIA different from serving in other places in government? Well, you know, even in this case, you have a few voices out there who think Petraeus could have written this out. Senator Feinstein, the chairman of the Senate Intelligence Committee, issued a statement today saying she doesn't think he needed to resign, although she understands why he did. But you're right. I mean, at the when you are the head of the CIA and you are uh, have uh, access to some of the nation's most sensitive secrets, and you are caught in a situation in which you could be um, compromised, blackmailed, or somebody else might have access to some of that information, it creates layers of complexity that don't exist for other government officials. Professor Mansour, the president called David Petraeus today one of the greatest flag officers of his generation. Is that a fair assessment? I think it's fair to say uh, he's probably the most accomplished American general, at least since the uh, Korean War. Uh, he's done a great deal for his nation. His nation has uh, a a great debt of gratitude to David Petraeus for his accomplishments, especially turning around a war that was nearly lost in Iraq in 2007 and 2008. Today, the director of national intelligence, James Clapper, said of Petraeus, 
Dave's decision to step down represents the loss of one of our nation's most respected public servants. Does leaving under this kind of circumstance uh, undermine that title, one of our nation's most respected public servants? Uh, I'm not so sure. I think in the long run, um, his personal failings will be a blip on the record. Uh, certainly his public service has been exemplary, and he's done, like I said, a great deal for his nation. He's hunted down war criminals in Bosnia. He's uh, had three combat tours in Iraq. He took over in Afghanistan at a very difficult time, and he's led the CIA with a fairly deft hand. So I, I think in the long run, uh, his legacy will be uh, uh, one that uh, Americans will remember uh, with uh, fondness. Greg Miller, is this a tough time for the CIA to lose its chief under any circumstances, given the continuing questions about events in Benghazi? Yeah, and that, and, and that has already uh, led to a lot of speculation on the timing of this departure by the director. I mean, this is coming just a couple days after the election. There are questions about whether, um, you know, whether the administration knew this was coming. White House officials insist that was not the case and that President Obama was stunned uh, when, uh, when uh, Petraeus came to him and, and made clear his intent to resign. How has the CIA changed under his leadership? Well, you know, he's at 14 months, he has been there uh, uh, less time than all but a few other directors. And, uh, and, and so I would say a couple of things. I mean, he has presided over a, a significant expansion of the drone campaign in Yemen, broadening the CIA's drone program beyond Pakistan. At the same time, he has a reputation for being uh, cautious. Um, some have questioned whether he has uh, been too reluctant to put agency operatives in, in conflicts like Syria. And he has also reportedly clashed with the head of the agency's counterterrorism center over Petraeus deciding to, to tap the brakes a bit on the drone campaign in Pakistan. Professor Mansour, you know General Petraeus personally, worked side by side with him. What should we know about the man to help us understand what he's going through now? This must be a, a crushing thing for someone who so carefully cultivated his reputation and made such prodigious use of his talents. Well, there's no doubt that he understands this was an unacceptable personal failing. Uh, it's very surprising to those of us who have known him. Uh, who have known how driven he is in his professional life and uh, really how uh, upstanding he's been uh, to this point at any rate in his personal life. Uh, he you know, refused to drink alcohol when he had the opportunity to in Iraq uh, because the troops didn't, couldn't drink alcohol. Uh, he, uh, he was in every respect uh, the paragon of, uh, of propriety. Uh, at least when I was there for the 15 months, I lived right next door in a bedroom right next door to him. And, uh, you know, he built his entire career on public service to the nation. He, he sort of envisioned himself as the, the modern-day uh, General George C. Marshall, who, after a, a long career in the U.S. Army, uh, became Secretary of Defense and Secretary of State. Um, this has got to be a, a severe blow to General Petraeus. And, uh, you know, our thoughts and prayers go out to him and his family in this time of healing, hopefully. Greg Miller, finally, before we go tonight, uh, the president expressed the hope that the agency would continue to thrive under the new acting director, Michael Morrell, who has been the deputy director under General Petraeus. What can you tell him about him? Can you tell, tell us about him? M Morrell is a, is a sharp guy. He is uh, a professorial figure. He comes from the analytic side of the agency, not the operations side. So he, he has risen through the ranks on the, anal on the analytic side, was a briefer to presidents, and is regarded as, the, as a highly polished and a highly skilled guy. In fact, he served as interim director before Petraeus took the job, because Petraeus, it took several months between the, the transition from Panetta to Petraeus. So Morell has done the job for a while previously. Gentlemen, Greg Miller from the Washington Post, Professor Mansour, thank you both for joining us.